I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Modded 1.3, Episode 8. Tomorrow, gonna be clear and sunny. I actually checked it, uh, after I stopped recording last episode, and it said it was gonna be rainy tomorrow, so I feel, I feel lied to that it would change the weather on me. Anyways, uh, I removed the community center bundle overhaul thing because it wasn't working anyways and it was just causing errors so I removed that and I installed as you can see here and here uh, I installed the UI info suite adds a bunch of things it's very handy just like a bunch of extra information so you can tell what's going on and it has like this this handy little thing here you can easily you know turn off specific things if you don't want to see them and I also added in the What's it called? Tree transplant or something like that. And I'll go demonstrate that real quick because I do want all of these trees to be in one convenient location. Hopefully it doesn't cost anything. I don't think it does. I'm still feeling pretty sick. Oh, you get experience pop-ups now too. I've been like sniveling all day. Just super runny nose. Super congested. A headache. My tongue feels weird. I don't like it. I don't like summer. And these allergies. Uh, anything interesting to do over here? Hey, the mine's open. Let's get my sword real quick. So I can go put it in a chest and never look at it again. Until I pretty much inevitably decide to explore the mine. But hopefully I can get like a Neptune's Glaive before then. From fishing. That'd be really handy. I doubt I'll get it though. I've only seen... Uh, I don't know, like three or four of them that I can remember in the entirety of my time playing Stardew. Not very many, to be sure. I've been continuing to check mod updates like every day, and there's just, there's nothing. A lot of the quicker modders have already like updated their mods, and then the rest are just taking forever. But rest assured, I am checking. And as soon as more cool things are added, I will add them to my installation. Because, you know, it's cool to see all these new things. You can't really see any of the other uses of uh, UI Info Suite here. But more things will appear here, like uh, if a villager has a birthday on, on the day that it is, there'll be a little icon for that. If the Queen of Sauce has a recipe that you don't have, uh, there's an icon for that. This is your luck. It says feeling lucky, but not too lucky. So I don't know where that falls in the uh, in the list. But here you can see transplant trees. And I can, for example, click here and say I want to move it here. And I just can. I can't, however... That's a little bit annoying. I thought I could put the trees next to each other. Can I move this one? That would have been funny. Uh, let's just put, like, all of my oak trees next to each other, because I want to get, uh, what do you call them? This can go over here. And this can go over here as well. Uh, I want to put, uh, tree tappers on them, and then hook them all together with automate so that I can easily get all the sap from that. Ooh, I can't. I can hook them together like that. Okay. They just can't be directly adjacent to each other. This, this is nice. Uh, I can put one more layer. And then I can't really put more without making... Well, no, I can put another diagonal one, right? Because then I can hit all those. And then all these from the gaps. And then... All of these. And all these. I, I should be able to get them all if I put one more row. So, you might think this is a little bit cheaty. Uh, I don't really care. I think it's fine. Because you can, you can do this anyways. It just takes longer if you do it normally. And I can't move rocks around or anything, so I can't set up a second orchard yet. But I will clear out a space, and I'm not going to chop down most of these trees. Uh, I want to get them together and put resin resin taps on all of them 
Speaking of which, I think I can't actually craft those until I get, like, higher farming. And I will also need some copper. So, to that end, I'm going to go into the mines. And we're going to spend this episode in the mines, getting some copper. I don't have my pickaxe on me, so I have to go back to the, uh, to the farm. It's not accessible yet, the, uh, the hot springs. Which is, you know, fine. It opens up in summer, like on summer 5th, I think. And we might use it then. I don't know. I haven't really used it too much on... Didn't I say I could do one more line? And then I, I proceeded to not do one more line? Let me through. I've created a wall. Is this three... Oh, there's a, there's a sapling there. Yeah, there's three lines there. That'll be fine for now. I'll move more over when I start getting tree taps. I also don't have a furnace yet. And I think I need level one mining to be able to get a furnace, which is fine. You can see the prices for everything now, by the way, with the uh, UI info suite on. And that is very nice. All right, put this here, this here. Those can chill out down there in my inventory. And now we're off to the mines. Where hopefully I can get some copper. Maybe increase my mining level a little bit. And that's basically it. I don't remember, but have I started doing crab pots yet on this save? I don't think I have. I think I got to five fishing so that I could decrease the price. And then I decreased the crafting cost. And then I never actually bought or placed any. But that's fine. I'll get them down eventually. On my multiplayer save, I've actually gotten to the point where... Like, we have about 150 to 200 crab pods down on the farm, I think. Somewhere in that vicinity. Enough that we get a pretty nice amount, like 10,000 gold per day. After refining everything and, you know, settling off everything we don't want to keep. It's a pretty nice deal of passive income. And I'm going to keep using that money pretty much indefinitely to, uh... You know, to pick up more crab pots and expand my wealth further. Alright, floor two. Grab this copper. Ooh, a geode. I think that'll trigger the Clint uh, cutscene. And that'll, that might give me the furnace, actually. I don't remember if you get it from having level one mining or if you get it from the Clint cutscene. I don't think there's... Oh, there was another ore over there, but it's fine. Smack this rock. Smack this rock. I'm getting close to... to level... Uh, the one mining, actually. And it's interesting. It looks like mining the... Because uh, this says three. But mining the other rocks doesn't give you any experience. That's really interesting. I would have assumed that all of the rocks gave you experience. Evidently not. Alright, break that, break this. Might as well gather some experience whilst down here. Uh, crack this one. Very nice. Lots of useful stuff there. Uh, I do need a, a ladder down, not a staircase. It was staircases in... Uh, Harvest Moon, I think. Friends of Mineral Town. I always mention that that's the one that I played. And maybe I should do videos of it on the channel at some point. Could be interesting. Uh, it's... I always say that it's basically Stardew, but worse. And it came first, so... You know, really, Stardew is... Friends of Mineral Town, but better. But they they do a lot of the same things. And I would only... Oh. It's a crab rock. I guess I should have expected that because it wasn't on the grid. Uh, the only reason I would like recommend it or want to play Harvest Moon's Friends of Middletown over Stardew is because of the nostalgia factor. Played it when I was really young. I actually owned it on cartridge. I didn't play it through like an emulator or whatever. Oh, every every like five rocks that you hit gives you experience. Or maybe it's random. I have no idea because I got five from that one rock. I don't know. I'll think about doing videos on that. The downside is I would have to play it through emulator, and I don't 
really like doing that for videos or streaming because it's a legally gray area. Come on. I believe in the staircase. Maybe the slime is hiding the staircase, the ladder. Yes, it was. I might as well keep killing these things though. Get some combat experience. Even though combat takes forever to level up. But I, yeah, I got some copper. I got 18 copper. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I have food, so we can probably manage level two or uh, level ten in the mines here. Get down to that second elevator point. Yeah, sure. Lots of ores. Good, good. Go away, slime. I'm tired of killing you. It's just a waste of time. Alright. That's pretty nice. 28 copper. It's like 5 bars. Might upgrade my watering can relatively soon. I just have to wait until there's a rainy day tomorrow and then... Like, that's the strategy for upgrading your watering cans, at least. Is water all your crops and then see if there's a rainy day tomorrow. And if there is a rainy day tomorrow, then... Uh, after having watered your crops, you take it in for an upgrade, and it takes two days, so the day you put it in, and then the next day, and then it'll be done on the day after that, which probably won't be rainy most of the time, but your watering can will be done, so you can water your crops again. And that's how you can get away with upgrading your tools early on without having to, like, worry about interrupting your crop schedule or whatever. Yes, lots of ore. Ideally, I think I want probably... Two or three furnaces. One works, but like, you know, it takes forever to get things done because it has to do it one at a time. I like to have a few extra furnaces just so that when I dump ores in the chest it gets done really quickly. Which actually reminds me, I probably need to gather more wood so that I can make more chests and do all kinds of stuff. I'll need copper for the, the, uh, the tree taps. And then in addition to needing copper for that, I need copper for the furnaces, I need so many things. But it's a pretty decent amount here. A pretty, like, pretty great amount actually. Maybe I st should start mining on days where I'm feeling lucky more often. Mm -hmm. If I eat, like, a leak, two leaks, then we can mine for a while longer. Maybe get mining level two. Maybe. It's foggy outside. I can see it by the weather indicator. See, it's not just the standard rainy icon. It's like rainy, but with fog. I might start checking out more games in the, uh... In the Harvest Moon-esque category on the channel. I feel like that would probably have more success than the, the random games that I do besides Stardew. Gotta keep it within the genre. Bam. Alright, uh, break these. Maybe get something good. Got some wood, some stone. It's not terrible. I did manage to get to the second checkpoint though. And I got boots. Hey, my inventory is not full. Excellent. Uh, I didn't show this off, by the way. This is part of UI Info Suite. You might have noticed it earlier. Let's you access the billboard from anywhere. <laughs> Green algae to dry for next winter. Well, that's unfortunate, Lewis, because I had one and I ate it. Oh, I still have some, actually. Let's see if we can go find Lewis real quick. Uh, where would Lewis be? I believe this mod actually adds in yes. So he's at his house, but his house is probably closed. Surprisingly bright out here, considering it's night. And the other side lets you access the calendar. So you can see when people's birthdays are, and you can see if there's daily quests, like, all the time. 
without having to go to the the Piers general store. And that's a pretty nice addition, you know. It's handy not having to go and check that. Uh, you can kind of mitigate it normally without the mod by buying a calendar from... Who sells it? I think it might be Robin. Lewis is in his house, but... Oh, it is open, actually. Hey there. Here you go. I'll take that 35 gold. Delivery. Archaeology. Getting started. I probably won't do the rest of these. At least not right away. Alright. Right as the fog sorta... Of just swept away. 75? 73 copper. Very good. That's like, uh, what? Almost 20 bars? Like 15 bars of copper, almost? Specifically 14, in fact, because uh, 15 would be 75 ore, but that is a pretty decent amount. And can I make a furnace? Not yet. But you don't get any recipes until it is the next day, so I don't expect to be able to get them just yet. Gonna keep that, gonna keep that. That I can sell. Can sell one of those. Mm, I might need refined quartz, actually. Uh, gonna have to keep most of this to sell, actually. Let's see. Put all this away in here. Amethyst, topaz, earth crystal, quartz, geodes. Very nice. 88 copper ore brings us up to, like, 18, 19. No. 17. 17 bars. Which is a pretty decent amount after uh, after spending 20 to make a furnace. We'll be able to make like 13 bars. And 13 bars is quite a few tappers, I believe. We just have to get access to the recipe. And then we should be all good on that front. And we will slowly expand this, this down. And that'll be a good time. Because we'll get tons of tree sap and then I can make tons of kegs and all kinds of good stuff. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this as always. And I will see you all next time.